everybody hear everybody? Yeah, I hear James, I hear you, and uh, James, hear me. <laughs> okay, so it seems to be working. So we have Captain 8675309, who is, you know, like what you, it, I cannot believe you'd never heard of Intercourse, Pennsylvania. You're naming all the weird cities and you didn't know about Intercourse, Pennsylvania. It's like. All right, so do you want me to tell you what, uh, everybody what happened with me, like, and how I've been offline for a while, or do you want me to just go on to the show? Uh. <laughs> making a comment depending on how fast your optical drive because you're on a live disc right now rams yeah. sometimes faster but I'm like why did I say that James is not a moron he knows better ah <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh he's on the show notes oh crap no I thought Can I, I added it I added you to the show notes didn't I well, he's not into the, um, I don't see him in the chat in the show notes. I saw the, sh the show notes are there. I don't see him. Hold on, let me just well, add As long as you can, can as long as you can see him, uh, it, it I've been noticing... No Firefox is on version 6 now. Yes, and that's actually a topic for, for Linux, even though we're probably not doing Linux this week, because, uh... I haven't done lesson forever. Well, there have been, like, schedule conflicts. Um, and and we'll, we'll just see what happens there. But, yeah, I I have had it with Firefox switching over to the Chrome numbering system. It was a nice experiment, but stop! <laughs> I think they'll stop it. It'll just be, like, that Mac OS. It'll be OS 10 and OS X or OS 7 or whatever you want to call it. For, like, ever... So why'd you remove me and then add me? I... Okay, I, I've been wondering about that, actually. Um, like, have, I, I didn't think I removed you. Apparently you did. Okay, are, are you... It, it says you're in, but you don't show us in. Are you in or not in? In, uh... I'm talking about in Google+. Plus. Yeah, I know that. Oh. But I... You re-added me, it says, so... I, I don't know if I'm in your circle. I don't get to know that. No, it's it, it. No, it does say that. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't tell you which circle you're in. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah, am in your circle. Yeah. Okay. That's. <laughs> yeah. I I avoided Facebook for how long, and y'all have gotten me in Google Plus. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's just. Uh. Be part of the hive mind. Don't fight it. Yeah, I'm gonna fight it. They get my. It's okay. Don't worry, Nash. You're super safe with us. Make Russell Nash a real person, and then if you ever commit a crime, you could always say you're Russell Nash. And then you know, I almost want to get arrested in New York and, t and tell the detective with a straight face, yes, I'm Russell Nash. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to do that, you know? <laughs> And probably, the, the, if the detective had a sense of humor, he'd go, well, you know you have some unsolved murders to answer for, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, so... Uh, I, I, I guess we'll start with Google+. I, Plus. I, I, I I guess we'll start with Google+, Plus in this, since we started there. Um, what do we think about Eric Schmidt's statement? Why Eric Schmidt is still making public statements since he supposedly stepped down, I have no idea, but it's like... He stepped down as CEO, right? Yeah. But I, he said that he went into more the marketing aspect of Google. So this is his job now, to shoot his mouth off and hurt Google. Well, maybe it. not that part of marketing, but <laughs> he's definitely a big part of Google still. I guess the advertisements, and since Google doesn't really advertise that much, I guess... The best is that they'll get from Google. I don't know, but yeah. Well, I mean, I, 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 no, Google adver that, that's a misnomer. Google advertises a lot. They do it in non-traditional ways. They don't, like, rent TV space and stuff. They use the web 
and they use viral things. I mean, for crying out loud, we have the developers on the Google staff posting YouTube videos, you know, about why it's a good idea that everybody should be known by their real surname and yada, 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 yada. It's like, like that's advertising, no matter how you jive that. It's you a social advertising. You don't have your identity they say that. Say that again? Show me videos where they say that everyone should be known by their real surname. Uh, it was, it they was, don't have those up yet. I don't think that they're going to put that kind of stuff up. That, no, that's you, a little bit. Uh, go to the YouTube, I think it's Google Developers channel. Okay. My Google Docs has a new look. I, I think I should try that later. Yeah, no, I'm not trying that right now. Yeah, we're busy right now. Highlights from Google I.O. is the default. Nothing. Okay, maybe it's the other one. No, there's a... Uh, maybe it's a spoof thing, but there were... There's YouTube videos that were... When, the, when they came out with the name policy, uh, you know, there were people in cubicles saying, like, they were Google saying, you know, and, and it looked like it was a real Google announcement because it was in line with what Google did. It's like, we created this to be, like, communicating with real people. Uh, actually, hold on. I have a video in last week's show. I will send out oh, here, I'll put the link to it. I find it interesting that if you're on your phone with Google Plus, there's a tab that says nearby and you can see public posts. Yeah, and, and a lot of people love that. Uh, it's it's uh, I, I love it. it. No, it it's useful. Oh. It's a, uh, go on. It, it, I, it, it's just, it's one of those things that's going to be, I, I, I don't know, it, it's just, it's going to be interesting uh, in the coming terms, because more and more Google's going to be getting into this, uh, and it's not, it's, I mean, what, what strikes me is Google's official response to this is they really do not care at all on this and I mean the end result is, and I mean now they got Schmidt standing up here literally saying you know this is intended to be an ID service not a social service it's an ID service the point of Google Plus is to identify you and turn you into a consumer Facebook is a phone book so yeah I, I know it's like it's on it's I, it, it's just the amount of damage that can be done with somebody's name is a lot. It's why I'm yeah. being yeah, yeah. It, it, and their official stance is well, you don't have to use it. Um, um, yeah, you do because we're social suicide not to use it. Well, no, it's like I didn't use Facebook for years and I didn't care. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. You're not normal. You don't count. <laughs> Like, uh, and I, I may abandon Google. I, I, I don't know. It, it's, um, I think Google Plus and Facebook are going to become the equivalents of, wow. you know, if you're running a website, you just need to do business with them. It's not having Google Plus ratings and, st and so on and using the social graph is going to be equivalent to not knowing your keywords or putting a description tag in and so on. You know, you just have to... You have to cater to this is the reality of the web today. Which now, is, how are they going to really catch people that's really lying about that? You know, like, where it just sounds like people that are obviously lying, like the people that named Princess Leia, you know, that, you know like, that could be an obvious lie or not, you know. Well, and that brings up the question on that. We talked about that last week, but um, it, it, I, I guess I'll find out if they ever try and kick me off. You know, what is the burden of proof for a name? We should try all the fake names we can think of and see if any of them work. <laughs> you know? I didn't know you're not really Russell Nash, you know? Well, no, it, you know what's really funny? If you look for that, there's many, many, many Russell Nashes. And we, we probably shouldn't be hanging a spotlight on this because we're making Google... You name being... yourself John Smith. Uh, no, I have to be Jacob Jingleheimer Smith, you know. <laughs> <laughs> His name is my name, too. <laughs> Uh, it, it, you know, just 
I don't like the idea of it being an identity service because it's you know it reminds me a little too much of real ID. Uh, what I find most ironical about Google Plus, the more I play with it, is it does everything you've ever wished that you could do with Google services. Like when you start subscribing to too many people in YouTube, what do you wish? that you could sort the feeds. This is my YouTube feeds when I'm in this mood. This is my YouTube feeds when I'm in this mood. And if you try and create separate YouTube accounts, the all things must flow through a master Google login account, you know, makes it cumbersome and annoying. So you're like, okay, fine, I'll do it through one account just to give me the tools. You know, same thing with everything else. You know, I can, you can group the conversations in Gmail, but you can't do it and YouTube, you, you only get the last, there's all these things, like, you ever get the, the feeling that uh, the developers on one project in Google don't talk to any of the developers on any other project in Google? So you, you like in Google Plus that all eggs are in one basket, exactly, right? I, I like that I can sort the streams. You have the master stream, or you have, like, the people for the show, or the people for son. Over my dead body, am I sticking anybody in friends, family, or the other one? You know, I come up with my... I just put everybody in the, um, the, the circle one. That's, that's why I call my primary circle, circle one. Yeah, uh, you, uh, you guys are in the equip... You, you guys are in two places in my circles. You're in the equivalent of what I, my tag for friends, but I'm not using the friends circle. And you're in, you know, obviously hosts, because I've, so, it, and I like that you can put people in multiple streams, that's useful. You just don't... That's pretty ironic, because on, on my Google Plus profile, I said I was a host in, in Oran. That was like a high, high school. <laughs> yes, it's, it's just important to remember not to cross the streams, you know. <laughs> cross the streams is good, like in Ghostbusters. Uh, what I do at some future point, has anybody done this, have either of you done this experiment where you've like tested the limits of the privacy settings? Oh, about the privacy settings. Um, I was surprised that was like part of my default, you know. I get, uh, it was, let's rehash what we said earlier, but it wasn't recorded, but you know, like, where it's part of my default, I guess that makes people more open to join Google Plus because they can't see a post. Because they're on part of my default, right? But uh, well, and see that—that's the. I, I'm sure they're doing that because the number one stink about Facebook is the privacy and the breaches. When you post anything on Google Plus, by default, it's your circles. It's all your circles, but it's people who you have put in your circles. And it's easy to turn off some circles too. Yeah. Um. But I. What I'm wondering. Uh, and, and I don't know if any of you have done this. I mean, for the most part, all of your posts are public, James. Same yeah. thing with same thing, them. same thing with Jordan. Same thing with most people. I think none of us are under the delusion that anything we say on Google Plus is going to stay private, even if it's private you today. But well, my one's not part of my accent because I assumed it. I was meant to Facebook and tell where I assume everything's called by default. You know. <laughs> Anyways, what were you saying, James? Well, I mean, when you post, you choose if it's public or not. I mean, I have some posts that aren't totally public. Yeah. Okay. So. And, and so, and we'll, we'll, we'll and, and we'll see if that'll stay true going forward. That needs to stay true going forward, but only time will tell if it'll stay that way. Um, the thing I find interesting on that, though, is, uh, and I don't know if this is because I'm following posts, but. I see all the comments to anything that shows up in my stream regardless because I'm following the person who started it so all the comments and replies to it I see and I see all the people who posted those comments. What I'm wondering is say uh, one of you or me posted something private that's like in the circle for our hosts and one of you as the hosts uh, parroted it public, like you shared it and your share was public, would it be public and would it show, because when you share something that shows the original source you shared it from, you know, was shared by so-and-so, 
Do, is, does the possibility accept for third party breach like that and so on and so forth? I mean, forth. if you share um, a post that was private to someone else, right? Yeah, say, say like, let's play hypothetical. Kami, you tell me something in confidence. I'm mad at you. I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, share. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share this. The post was originally shared with an ambulance. Remember to be thoughtful about who you share it with. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, and I am going to say... <laughs> you jerk. Uh, yeah, it's like, let's see, acquaintances, family, yada, yada. Type or select a circle or persons or just enter an email address. Well, I'm going to just send it just to you. Hold on. Uh, my circles. Uh, okay, it's not, it's not letting me do it. I hadn't tried this yet, but I don't have the public option here. Huh. I, I have, I have my circles... Oh, I have my various circles, my, my circle, or extended circles. As long as that stays true, the possibility of third-party breach doesn't exist. Wait, let me try, because I think I can. All right, hold on. Let me go to Commodore. Oh, I haven't tried that way. Yeah, let's try that way. Share. Yeah, let's okay. try sharing it from there. And share with my extended circles. Share. Worked fine for me. But it's your extended circles. It's just the people who know you. So uh, okay. yeah, she said she can share as public. It's an, the extended circles is the people who know me and the people who know the people that know me. Right. Which if if you're sharing something with somebody who's trying to do any viral stuff or web promotion or yada yada, might as well be the whole internet. <laughs> Uh, say if I was a chick and I just like um, sent a private message to my boyfriend and said I got pregnant or something like that and then he like shared or something you know I don't know or like uh, some, there are some pictures that it has that like only this friend's eyes only but you like yeah and someone else so I was like ooh I'm gonna share this and ooh plus well, you know I can make it public but I could always pull one of these So yeah, work. you can do that, but then that's hearsay. You don't know for a fact that you're actually repeating Kami uninterpreted. Oh, so that's, 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 that's like quoting, but there's no proof that you quoted me, right? Exactly. Basically, he says, you said, like, you, you mean you can see it. <laughs> I mean, my word again says... <laughs> exactly! <laughs> see, he's putting words in your mouth now. <laughs> There I go. <laughs> See, Tommy, did you ever say James Mc James is the uh, best ever? Did you ever say that? It's like <laughs> oh, no, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> like it's news to you. It's like so. I suppose you have a point there. If I can't share it publicly, then it is hearsay. Yeah. Yeah, it's like because the, the 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 direct share is like quoting somebody, and it's like a citation. You know it came from there. You know it's what that person said. Uh, like you said, with the extended circles, you know, depending on how many people have subscribed to you and subscribed to the people and yada yada, it might be the whole internet. So there's still the ability for teenagers to be bullies with this. You know, it's like, you know, I, 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 I'm seeing this already, I, I'm envisioning a future Google Plus fiasco. Some teenager dumps some chick, so she starts viral sharing everything embarrassing he's ever did. Uh, and it gets run through the whole school. It doesn't sound like a whole Facebook thing, but yeah, it sounds bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or, or it could be, the, or, or, or the guy could do it to the chick, you know, let's not be sexist. Or, just, you know, or the chick to the chick, or the guy to the guy, or a bully to the kid they're picking on, or, you know, whatever. You know, it, it, it's... 
Uh, so basically, you should be careful about who you trust and never, ever piss them off. Uh, or the moment you piss somebody off, immediately open your phone and delete anything that could be held against you in a court of public opinion. <laughs> And hope you're clicking faster than them. Now, let, let's see another experiment, actually. Um, uh, uh, here, let's... Uh, I'm going to share your post. And I can share yours public. So I'm going to do that. So now I've copied it. Okay, James, delete your... Uh, James is the best uh, ever... You know, plagiarism or false like Commodore's post yeah. about that. Sure. Oh, this only what? What do you want me to do? Okay, I deleted it. But my share is still here. That's correct. It is interesting. Yeah. So even if you go and delete stuff, you can't delete it from anybody who ever shared it. So that's that hole is still there. Because this is what would happen with Facebook. You go in and delete your Facebook thing. But I'm going to delete that comment. Yeah, but third-party people who have re retweeted it, re it, it's there. It's on the hive mind. You can't get it back. <laughs> it's, so, I think of the hive mind. I had it at high school. Is that from Cochran High School? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Y'all need to look at, 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 Kami, at this profile Kami's created. I'm going to put a link to your profile in the show notes. You know, the, the, Actually... Why we're, since we're talking about Google+, Plus, the one thing I'm noticing that's strangely missing in Google+, Plus has already been created by third-party people, because as far as I know, uh, Plus2 is not actually Google. Correct? Probably yeah. not. Yeah, it's like there's a domain name, gplus.to. Oh. And what oh, is... Yeah. No, that's not Google. Well, yeah, because what they're adding is the ability to have what you have on Facebook and Twitter, you know, blah, blah, slash your handle, which doesn't exist in the Google system. You're just some random number, <laughs> which, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of people do, and I, I, I think that's not. I, I'm surprised they didn't build that in. I, I, I guess that was because of the privacy thing. It's one of those you have to opt in to being hash accessible. So, it, you know, it's weird things. It, it has implications. There's a lot of things Google Plus does right. Still has all the old privacy concerns as far as I'm concerned. Use it at your own risk. This is one of the reasons I'm hesitant as to whether or not to use it for promotion or anything because, I mean, like Twitter and all of these things, it's easy to follow this. And Google Plus, it's actually easier than Twitter because you can... Literally, you know, if you're not in the mood to follow things somebody are saying, you don't have to and you don't have to unsubscribe to them. You just don't follow them at this moment. But you have to Google-fy yourself to use Google+, and that's just, yeah, you know. I'm not sure I trust Google anymore, and I trust the Zucker Pope. <laughs> Same here, you know, but whatever. Anyway, what's up next? I don't know. What do we want to move into? You know. Well, do you want to just stop the record right now and then move up to the next part? Uh, well, I mean, we've kind of hashed Google+, so it's another thing we can do on that. Um, I am, it's like, I'm just, we want to do more Google, let's see. Like, well, this is the other reason to be concerned about Sun. No, wait. Okay. Some Google says Dell certificates got hacked. It's like, the, no, what a surprise. Well, it's not really their fault. Google, it, this only made the news because Google was using SSL certificates from this company that got hacked. There are dozens, if not thousands, of sites on the internet over that are compromised by this. Uh, you know, this is one of the reasons I think SSL certificates are handled a little too loosey goosey. Oh, well. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so, when, so, when is this problem being resolved? When do those. It's being resolved already, but basically if there's been a period of time where their security has been in question, and the reality is it's going to be difficult to know who has been compromised. You know, it's one of those, 
Did, did anybody notice that this door has been open for a month? Hmm. What? <laughs> we didn't get in. We got in. What? Yeah. We don't know. There's no camera over there. <laughs> it's like... Uh, so...